Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Shiva, Shiva Balasubramanian, responsible for driving innovation within Capgemini. What that means is uh, we are a team of experts looking at transformative technologies and emerging business models and see how we can apply it in the insurance world. Today, uh, we are here at the Google Next uh, Summit, an interesting platform for us to talk about one of the very interesting projects that we're working with Google today on telematic space. Before I go further down, uh, let me uh, introduce my co-speaker, uh, Dr. Hena Karna. Dr. Hena. Thank you, Shiva. Very nice to join with you uh, on this topic for telematics and the Capgemini and, and Google partnership. I'm looking forward to having our conversation today. Thank you, uh, Hena. We are here to talk about telematics platform that we have built jointly with Google. The idea is to position Capgemini and Google as a leader in the behavior insurance space. We'll talk more about that as we go forward. But the idea is in the, in the area of traditional telematics, it's always focused on auto. Today, you will hear a lot about home and as well as health and how we intend to orchestrate the whole auto telematics, property telematics, and health telematics for a connected consumer. I'm going to tell a personal story. Uh, this is on the last uh, you know, 12 months during the pandemic. When I saw my car when I was sitting in the garage, I realized there might be a better way to save some uh, you know, ways to, you know, in my insurance. So I called up my insurance company and I asked, I'm not driving the car as much and I don't intend to drive it as much up in the post-pandemic world. Do you have a pay as you drive or a pay how you drive, uh, you know, type of a product? To my surprise, I didn't, they did not have one. This is one of the top 10 insurance carriers. All I got was a, you know, a beautiful discount. When I walked away, you know, I was happy transactionally, but it led me to a question. It didn't change my behavior. I got a one-off discount, but, you know, when I'm starting to drive, like me, many others are looking for ways to engage with an insurance company. Today, as we solve for this problem on the behavior-based insurance, we have set out on a mission to create a platform to orchestrate an ecosystem that can actually go beyond pricing and discount and provide a meaningful interaction and engagement with an insurance company. And for us, when we look at telematics, telematics is nothing but data and analytics at scale opportunity. Today, with the high fidelity, high volume of data, it's important we get this right. We need to source it right. We need to standardize it. We need to be able to leverage it in a meaningful way without overwhelming the ecosystem and as well as the carrier and in a meaningful way. So we, we invited Google to, uh, for a discussion uh, to see if we can uh, partner together. Obviously, Google has uh, you know, a plethora of products and services. Uh, we thought it's a natural fit for us as we set out on a mission for solving the telematics for a connected consumer on auto, property, and as well as health. Google jumped on it immediately saying they're uh, very excited to partner and jointly solve for this issue. And I want to talk, uh, you know, you know, invite Hannah to share her perspective when we started this conversation and, you know, uh, you know, see what she thinks about where we are heading in this. That's great. Thank you, Shiva. One of the, one of the great um, privileges that I have here at Google is to help set the global strategy when it comes to insurance risk management. And um, if you think about it, telematics is is a huge topic. Um, it's a bit of a um, as broad as can be topic in some way. And, and you mentioned right uh, rightly so. It's a data and analytics at scale capability. It's a topic about that. And, um, in the traditional sense, perhaps telematics was coined something on the auto space. And we realize more and more, it's really not about auto or property or life or health. It's about the human, the end consumer, the end insured, and their value um, for the insurance industry. So how, how do we make it more relevant to them in their life, their livelihood, their, their behavior, their needs, and so on? So it's really changing. Telematics is now really changing. And in the words of a, a very fond colleague of mine, it's really changing the relationship from the insurers and how they relate to the insured. And that relationship is really what we're, we're trying to capture and make sure that the value of insurance is more meaningful to the end consumer. So all in all, if we think about the, the story that you've laid out here, Shiva, with regards to your scenario about the car, I think about volume of data and the concept of, you know, a long time ago when we looked at photos, 
It was how much can I take in a 25 or, or what is it, 30 something uh, film roll? How many photos can I take out of that? Today, it's all about which photo do I have, which specific one with a specific smile, with specific location that I can get really quickly. So it's more about accessing that information, that data, more about making it usable in, in a real time manner at the point of need, at the time of need and so on. So when we think about that, there's a, a, a plethora of capabilities that Google has at, from its DNA about the volume of data, how it changes and, and uses and the usage of that data when it comes to telematics. And we're really kind of connecting those dots together with what uh, Capgemini has set forth and what we can do together with regards to that 24 seven availability of the data and the meaningfulness of that data at the point of the customer. So I would like to just maybe quickly pass it over to you Shiva to elaborate a little bit more with regards to um, some of the, the next steps that we're taking here at Capgemini. All right, okay. thank you, Hannah. And I think you clearly laid out some examples uh, with the photos and I'm going to relate to that as we speak uh, in some of the use cases that we are solving for in the future. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the high level architecture and what we're trying to do here. Uh, we, we clearly mentioned about our strategic intent on auto property and health. Uh, what we want to build is analytics at scale on all of these uh, areas that we want to focus. Obviously, it can eventually also focus on commercial and life uh, at some point. But what we want to do is bring privacy into the middle of it, bring cyber into it, bring uh, some of the aspects of uh, you know, customer services and ongoing engagement uh, through this process. So there is a lot of uh, interesting capabilities that we are building on top of the core capability, which is the analytics at scale opportunity uh, that we talked about. Why uh, we are partnering with Google today on this one? I think it's an important um, you know, question when we set out our first self. As an alphabet group of companies, Google had uh, enormous capabilities with an Android Auto program, with their Google Nest and Google Fit. So when we checked our boxes on auto property and health, I mean, it was a natural choice for us uh, to look at Google's products and services. With BigQuery, we believe, I mean, there is a, the opportunity is endless because data is the game uh, in the middle of all of this. So with that, uh, we are starting with auto. Uh, we will you know, eventually focus on home uh, and property uh, and as well as health. But I think the, the end goal is also to go beyond for, you know, a retail or a personal customer to a commercial as well, which means a lot of uh, value can be brought into this ecosystem orchestration platform. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Shiva. And um, again, that there's, there's the connected customer concept that you brought up that's pretty powerful and we can piggyback that that's the relationship that we want to shift and make more meaningful for the insured for the for the end consumer and in doing so there are some some capabilities that google has been nurturing for the last uh 10 some years uh it may be a little bit more than that when it comes to google maps we know about those things google fit that's coming in um the the work that we have around health uh and um uh, even some of the, the life sciences angle of things. Of course, uh, insurance, there's work around risk and risk mitigation, um, productive and preventive of risk. So there's factors there. And the capabilities that we want to, to highlight here today really will be um, this connective tissue of types right across these factors. So some of the product and services that Google has um, is creating the right set of ecosystems. Um, and by the, the sheer word of use of ecosystems, we're thinking about how does it help each other? How do these capabilities help each other? Um, and how do we create that sort of network effect of, of information that we can then bring to our, our end consumers? So something on our, um, you know, with Capgemini, we've been able to really look at um, uh, disrupting, maybe evolving, um, the traditional insurance uh, viewpoint on behaviors, on behavior-based insurance for both auto, property, um, health, and uh, even some things around the, the broader breadth of even uh, commercial versus just, just consumer uh, angle to that, and life insurance for sure. So there are things there that we're doing that are starting to, um, I guess, I think the word is bridge some of the gaps that we might be having. Uh, in, in order to, to understand more and learn more from our data and make it more actionable, make it more um, business savvy and actionable. So today we're starting with auto telematics uh, with, with Capgemini and in the future we're hoping to extend to things that can lean into Google Nest and things that can lean into Google Maps um, and Google Fit and start to leverage that sort of ecosystem that we have with an alphabet to power um, the value that we can bring to the end consumer with Capgemini. 
Over to you, Shiva. So what are uh, some of the leading use cases? And I think uh, while we know the strategic intent and the platform, uh, there are plenty of, uh, you know, disruptive use cases from distribution to risk management to claims uh, to underwriting. We want to solve, can we predict accident? Can we do accident reconstruction faster? Make it more, uh, you know, easy for a consumer instead of them going through an accident, taking pictures, you know, and making sure they go through the agony of whether I have sent the right pictures, whether my claim is going to get approved or is it going to be, uh, you know, put for some, some of the, you know, go in the roundabout. So the focus here is to bring that experience, uh, you know, through the whole process. And I think at some point, this platform, our vision is for the insurance companies, their biggest, most differentiation should be not on the newer products and services, but I think it should be most on servicing and claims, which is how can they really focus on the customers on an ongoing basis. So with that, uh, you know, the accident reconstruction use cases, predicting an accident, predicting the cost of a claim before the accident, or even pricing the, you know, a product for insurance. All of this is a very interesting use case for us to solve. Tomorrow, we want to see a cars to report claims in a connected car world. We want to see cars be a point of insurance for sale for insurance. So there are plenty of use cases that we are exploring today. And all of this is something that we will be working with, uh, you know, Google uh, and several other ecosystem partners to drive this disruptive, uh, you know, solutions, business models into the industry. With that, Google, uh, you know, Hannah, you know, I want to, you know, ask you, why did you choose to work with us as Capgemini in this process? That's great, Shiva. And, and uh, I, I like this topic very much as to, you know, why why the partnership values uh, is valued and, and certainly because philosophically, it seemed um, in a lot of our conversations with Capgemini that we're, we're thinking very much about um, the customer. We're thinking also about risk in a, in a meaningful way so that, that there, there is a, a bit of, um, I'd say, pay it forward kind of mentality. If we can help organizations do a better job at risk mitigation, our end customer gets benefit. And I hope economically our world actually gets benefit. So there's there's very much a, a synergy there with, with Capgemini, which I was really happy to see and, and, and it keeps us motivated uh, at Google here. And in addition to that, you know, Capgemini brings some great extensive knowledge on the industry. And it, we know we have had some very thoughtful relationship discussions uh, with clients. Capgemini has a huge depth and breadth of understanding the client uh, from a, understanding the industry on the insurance side, understanding risk and in a breadth uh, of a view so that we can bring those together but also being very consciously aware of the value of the technology and how much it's evolved across the, the couple of years. So it's not just telematics, it's actually behavioral you know, capabilities and understanding um, the value of the human being and what they need as they've evolved. So there's a huge value in terms of the, the Capgemini um, ecosystem, the ability to orchestrate across complex, complex ecosystems when it comes to um, the partnership here. And from a Google standpoint, we were able to complement a lot of that. So if you think about the Google value proposition, um, the ability to understand from a platform standpoint, what do we need in terms of a data analytics and AI and ML capability? How do we connect those dots in real time while bringing down the, the cost of data holistically? How do we make sure that, that um, the data sources and data sets drive real time value? This is something that Google is, has it in its DNA. So let's take some of that and bring it to the, the, the center of the conversation when it comes to insurance. Uh, and thinking around the lens of, you know, the harnessing of high volume, high fidelity, um, looking at data, and, and, and I know Shiva, you mentioned analytics at scale. So looking at that, making sure that it's scalable, it's sustainable, as we start to thinking about think about more and more data types, um, that sustainability is very important. And then making sure from a Google standpoint, and of course, Capgemini standpoint, the value of privacy at the center, making sure that we understand privacy and security at a core level, which is is a, um, a constant sort of importance value for, for Google as well. So I think that, you know, the partnership here together, um, the combination of Capgemini and Google really bring together this dynamic, innovative view, innovative partnership, um, and keeping that customer at that center, which is which is value to all of us as a whole. Thank you, Anna. I mean, that leads to the biggest question. What are we doing today? We talked about the intent. We talked about our vision and the platform. What have we done today with Google? We have built an agency-based telematics platform jointly along with Google and Cambridge Mobile Telematics. For those who are familiar with CMT, 
they are the world's largest telematics provider. Uh, we have built an agency-based solution uh, which allows an agency to underwrite telematics-based policies, uh, which are not, uh, you know, which are written in a traditional way today. The working hypothesis is that folks that enrolled on the telematics-based policies are better drivers, which means lesser loss to our insurance carrier, ca you know, carriers, and which also means they are able to leverage some of the profits to, you know, in a meaningful way to engage the customers. So we have built something uh, in on the agency telematics, where you know, on our 890 platform within Capgemini, along with the, you know, Google's products and services like BigQuery and the driving scores from CMT. Uh, you know, which will, I think uh, would be uh, available for everyone uh, soon. Uh, you know, but I think we have more use cases to solve uh, beyond the agency telematics, and I think many are under, uh, you know, underway in our roadmap. And I, you know, at this point, I wanted to take uh, the time to thank, uh, you know, Hannah for, uh, you know, speaking with us in this, uh, you know, opportunity, and also the Google Next for providing the platform to share some of the, you know, newer ideas, uh, you know, that we are working together. Hannah. Thank you so much, Shiva. And, and you know where to find us uh, if there's any questions. It was really wonderful, Google Nest, to, to, um, to join us uh, in this conversation. And there's a lot that we can think about as a next step with regards to the, the Alphabet family and the ecosystem that we have out there. So we're looking forward to having uh, discussions with you further. Thank you.